Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the GM Kai or the GM Type C. A unit that was developed towards the end of the One Year War and put into semi mass production. Effectively, it was an attempt to update a number of different units and bring them up to a single standard. However, with events like the ambush from the Dallas fleet and later what happened at Torrington Base, the unit would kind of fade out of use. Though to a degree, I would call it the quiz essential version of the GM. Its specs were okay all around. Its performance were okay all around and it was easy to pr mass produce, effectively most Federation designs. But like most things the Federation do, they wait for a young, super talented boy to drive an overpowered suit to save their asses. So, what's this suit? This is a 200 cost, two, four, or 350 cost. I think there might be a little bit higher, but I'm not sure. Unit that is ground and space capable, it is a general, and with the 200 cross, it is a ballistic beam and melee resistance of 8. I did say it was generalized, a range strength of 11, and a melee strength of 9, a movement speed of 110, and a thrust gauge of 55. Overall, not bad for this cost. Now, the differences between it is that uh, <laughs> when you get up to the higher level, it goes up to a few different levels but you can get much more into there so it goes up to about 14 across 20 and then 15. overall the unit has a close or parts of close range of six medium of five and long range of one ouch its basic setup is a bullpup machine gun but it can equip the beam spray gun, which is not bad early on. Uh, it is short range, but can do some meaty damage. The Hyper Bazooka and the Hyper Bazooka Modified. Um, so it has a decent range of arranged options. Haha. -ha. Then we got your standard Wiffle Bat. We have the uh, head mounted Vulcans, They're about 50 damage. 150 range eh, and then of course a large shield late model so it has some defensive capabilities just make sure that when you want to take advantage of the shield you turn your left to the enemy fire for skills we have leg shock absorber level one quick boost level two well that's not bad it could do a lot of jumping as emergency evasion system high performance balancers personnel radar and high spec am back what can i say uh, about this unit this is the very idea of a general it is generalized in every conceivable way and the best thing about it is it doesn't look as derpy as the original gm or the gm2 let's be honest the gm2 looks kind of goofy and it's probably what represents the Federation's forces and styles the most. An unremarkable, generalized suit that has to wait for something more powerful to keep it, you know, in the uh, fight. But you can mass produce these suckers, so let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match everybody. Hope you're doing fantastic. Now this is the old situation battle. Uh, I had been a planning on recording the type c or the gm kai if you prefer but hey sometimes i really just enjoy the situation battle because they're more thematic and they this just feel nice to be able to pull out some of these old units i wish they would do them most of the time to some degree but hey that's a uh, Hope in a dream, but we're going to start out by zipping over here. I don't generally on this map like to stay on the uh, the runway. And we see some of our, our uh, foes across the way splitting up. So I'm going to try to cut in here and help out number five and push uh, a little bit on these guys. Now at the time I didn't quite know what was all there, but now I'm like, oh, we got the big man. And then we got at least a Don Trope, and we're going to come in and knock him down, but he's going to spin out of it. <clears throat> we're going to keep going. We're going to 
pop him with that. And we're going to come up and give him a little bit of that. Now, I know I can't knock him down. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to uh, annoy him as much as I can. We're going to clash with that Dom Tropin. And we're getting pushed out a little bit. We're going to come in. We're going to catch him just on the tippy toes. But we're going to keep trying to uh, keep the attention of this guy. I'm trying to drag this Tropin away. Uh, unfortunately for him, he's going to let us divide him. So I'm going to have a misclick there. <laughs> I'm going to try to let that guy push him, come in, and go for uh, a little bit of the... Uh, well, encircling tactic. Catch him with that, but he was gone already, and then we'll push back. All right, so that was a two-on-one. That uh, it felt a little awkward because it had been some time by this point that I had used um, this unit. So we're gonna, I see uh, <laughs> our two high-powered suits, and I'm just gonna come in, get a little bit of that action. I can't do a huge amount, but I can be really annoying to him, so I'm trying to keep his attention towards me, catch him with that, hit him there, flip over, and finish him off with the Vulcans. So, bam. Gotta pay attention to that shield placement, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, F-type Zaku is gone, so I'm going to come in, turn my attention to this poor very much abused uh, Tropin. And then I'm gonna come over and help against her big man. Really, all I'm trying to do is add damage to him because I don't believe he can be knocked down, but I could be wrong. Regardless, my unit doesn't have the power <laughs> to knock him down. I'm just a, a wee GM Kai. Please, Mr. Zaku have type with better weaponry. <laughs> Do you have some soup? We'll catch him with our down swing. Or we'll just catch him with our swing. I keep forgetting. We're going to hold that in. Catch him with the bazooka. Smack him there. Counter. Hold him for our guy to finish off. And there we go. We're going to proceed on towards the base. Now, I don't generally like um, matches where the other team is just completely destroyed. But this is a GM Kai. Uh, <laughs> how many <laughs> legitimately good matches are you going to have in this thing? So we're going to fire. Now, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I got the whole team staring me down at the moment. So I go full delay mode. So get a, as much damage as I can to them while wasting as much time as I can. And bam, I wasted 10 seconds or so. So we punch in at B with a brand new, fresh GM Type C, or Kai. And uh, we just see this utter mess ahead of us. So this must be the average experience of a GM Kai player. Explosions everywhere! What's going on? And I'm just going to push because I want to harass the support. Besides the their raid, who is sitting there doing absolutely nothing but being a bump in the log at this point, um, he is the most dangerous to us, so effectively, if I can keep him just focusing on me and wasting his time and energy, that's a good thing. I'm going to do a little bit of counter. I'm trying to extend my life because my team is fighting something, and we're going to die for our second time. We clearly punched out of the unit. Wink, wink. So we drop back in to be all casual style like nothing happened. No one shot us down. We're just really late to the battle, guys. Yeah. Superior mobile suit technology. Ooh, nice shot there. We take out the raid. I'm going to try to push up, catch the, uh, the Zaku F type. And I'm not going to get in the way of our Zaku F-Type because I support him. And I didn't mean to shoot him like that. But unfortunately, um, things happen and I take the kill. So, Zam. So, I'm going to harass the... Uh, uh, I almost had the name of the unit. I'm going to harass him enough that he's going to um, 
decide to pay attention to me. Knock down my F-type again. I'm so sorry, F-type. I don't mean to keep doing that. Turn over, catch their raid with a little bit of this and that. We're going to wait, pop a rocket into him, and then we're going to push over, catch the F-type. We're just really annoying F-types at this point. Catch him with the rocket, and then down swing him, but he's going to roll out. At this point, I'm just going to try to use the rockets and a little bit of maneuvering to uh, waste their time because, again, my team is fighting one guy, and I see we're going to have an artillery spot. So I'm like, okay, if I can waste their time long enough, I can get them all to drop into it, and shazam! I just help somebody's kill score, you know? There we go. Come in, we'll get a little bit of that, and I think, nope, we're not going to get the finishing. Dang. We're going to come after that tropin, but his big man is going to stop us. And we're really close to death, so we're just going to hold out. We're going to squeeze under here, but I'm going to hold my fire for a second because, well, my team are all right there fighting one guy. Feels like the entire match as I take the kill. And as we enter into the 19 second spot, I decide that, you know what, being super close to their base when they're going to be able to uh, drop back in is probably not a good idea. Maybe I should hide behind the box. And I was going to try to jump up on here, but I failed at that. And I see, oh, <laughs> and the timer saved me. Hello, Mr. Man, how are you today? Look at that sassy hip action. Yeah. No board spots. Fourth spot with that, I'll take.